this will do then for uh, the next couple because the wine okay. man wrote them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, these next one now, the recitation I'm going to give now was written by a priest in Australia. He was O'Brien. He wrote in the name of O'Brien. And it's just about those uh, convicts and their children that were sent out to uh, Australia about 200 years ago because they rebelled against the crown here in Ireland and they were uh, sent to uh, Tasmania and to Australia, all around the Australia. And this is a, a recitation he wrote, it's called uh, The Tremens of the Rosary. Oh, the memory that finds me now, that my hair is turning grey, drifting in like painted butterflies from paddocks far away, Dripping dainty wings and fancy, and the pictures fading fast, stand today in rose and purple with the albums of the past. There's a slab dwelling dreaming by those wistful, watchful trees, where the cool of ours are listening to stories from the breeze. There's a homely welcome beaming from her big, bright, friendly eyes, and the sugar loaves behind it blackened in against the skies. There's the same old happy circle round the Voorhees' cheery blaze, and a little Irish mother telling tales of other days. She had one sweet holy custom that I never will forget, and a gentle benediction crowns her memory far yet. I can see that little mother not here where she pleads. Now it's getting on for bedtime when all you children get your beads. There was no steel bound conventions in our slab dwelling free, only that each night she would line us up to say the rosary. And the stranger there who stayed the night upon his journey knew he must join the little circle, aye, and take a ticket too. For I believe she darkly plotted when a sinner hope was sight, one who was known to say no prayer at all, she'd make him stay the night. And then we'd gather round her and we'd speak in accents low and pray like Saint Dominic prayed so many years ago. And the little Irish mother was radiant for she knew where one or two was gathered. He is gathered with them too. O'er the pastors and the abbeys, how that reverend head would bend. Then she kissed the cross devoutly as she counted to the end. And the visitor would rise at once, and he brushed his knees, and then he looked very, very foolish as he took the floor again. For she had other prayers to keep him. There were long, long prayers and truth, and they used to call them tremens in my disrespectful youth. She would pray for Kit and Ken and all the friends she'd ever known. And every one of us would boast a trimming all her own. She would pray for this one sore complaint or that one's hurt at hand. And from time to time we'd make a deal and buy that bit of land. Or the dad might sell the cattle well. And season good would rule. And that little John, the weekly one, might go away to school. There were trimmings too that came and went. But she never closed without. Any one for something special. None of us must talk about. Gentle was that little mother, how her wit would spatter free, but she'd murder you if you looked around when at the rosary. And if by chance you lost your beads, disaster waited you, for the only one she'd pardon was himself, because she knew it was hopeless and was sinful the excuses he'd invent, so she'd let him have his fingers, and he'd crack them as, the wind, as he went. And by dad he wasn't certain when he counted five or ten, Yet he'd face the crisis bravely and he'd start around again. But she'd tally all the decades and she'd block him on the spot with glory, daddy, glory, and he'd glory like he shot. She would portion out the decades to the company at large and when she reached the tremens then she'd put herself in jail. And it was half times cause for wonder how she never once forgot but to keep them in their order till she got right through the lot. And the little Irish mother's prayers embraced the country wide if a neighbour met with trouble, was taken ill or died. You could count upon a tremon till in fact it got that way, that the rosary was but tremens, then the tremens we would say. Then himself he'd start complaining for the public good we thought. Ah, you'll have us here till morning if you don't cut them tremens short. But she'd take him very gently till he softened by degrees. So come on now, let's get it over, all hands to their knees. And that little Irish mother kept her trimmings to the last, ever growing as the shadows on the old selections passed. She lit her drab existence with her simple faith and love, and I know the angels linger near to hear her prayers above. 
For her children trod the path she trod, nor did the later spun, to impress their wholesome maxims on their children in their turn. Aye, and every sore complaint came right, and every hurt at hand. And we met a deal from time to time, and bought that piece of land. And Dad to sell the cattle well, and little John her pride, t'was he who said the mass in black on the morning that she died. So her gentle spirit triumphed, what was that without a doubt? That was the special tremor she had kept so dark about. Now the years have crowded past me, and the fledlings they have flown, and the nest beneath the sugar loaf no longer is her own. For a hand has written finish, someone closed the book for good. There's a red tile mansion standing now, where our thatched dwelling stood. There the strangers have their evenings, and the formal supper spread. But I wonder, have the tremens, or is the rosary said? For those little Irish mothers that are passing from us one by one, and who will write their names in glory for the great things they have done. For their children they are scattered, and their fortunes wine were thurled, but the tremens of the rosary has blessed them round the world. They have brought the news, my darling, that I waited for so long. Face this little news that brought us, every story, every song, that I heard since you enlisted, seems to bear the one refrain. And the whole world used to tell me, you'd never come again. There have been cruel times, Alana, since you left us for the fight, parting days like all the daytime, thinking thinking through the night. Yet what's the use complaining, sure the world is all amiss, when the hoping and the striving will end in grief like this. T'was the green months when you left us, now the brown, brown months have come. The ripe crops are in the paddocks, and the harvesters are done. There'll be flowers again in plenty with the carpet o'er the plain, but to sad you won't be coming when the green ones come again. But I'm thankful, oh I'm thankful for that but the memory, the last night we were together, we said the rosary. Don't you mind it, boy, we said it in the old room there beyond, beside the little halter where your early prayers were conned. By the statue that I cherish of the Holy Mother fair, with her blue cloak round her shoulders and her white hand chained in prayer. And your man's voice like an organ rolling out his soul of heart, oh, here get my woeful, it keeps droning in my heart. Lay your treasures up in heaven, for there's nothing here below. We Irish mothers live in that in the old land long ago. Short life springtime with its blossom, yet it comes not back again. Only higher trees in winter stretch in naked limbs in pain. But to sad you won't be coming when the green ones come again. There's a numbing in my heart, boy, like a cold, cold hand it grips. But I'm thankful that we parted with the rosary on your lips. It has ever been my refuge, it has been my hope and stay, been my hymn of sweet thanksgiving for what good there came my way. I was taught it by my mother, I am when we crossed the sea, to seek the goal we never found, the old man there and me. Sure he stood six feet, he was higher then, and as jet black was his hair, or you'd never think was him at all, that been to old man in there. We said it by the cradle and we said it by the cot, when the babes the angels brought us made us happy in our lot. When the house was full of children and the pride of living glowed, we said to the neighbours headless and I'm going down the road. But you've gone and left me lonely, one by one my dove ye flew, one by one the circle dwindled till the rosary said by two. By two old husky voices, old and weak and weary out, just our two selves together, answering up and giving out. But it won't be long, Alana, till the trouble sees I can, till the beads drop from my fingers and they wind them round my arm. You used to tease me about the tremens in the dear days that are dead, but there's another tremor now, every time the rosary said. But there won't be many rosaries, for there's a singing in my ears, and the holy mother's beckoning, I can see her through my tears. Those old feet are getting weary, so I leave them resting then, they'll have laid me on the hillside. Ere the green ones come again. Tis there I'll thread the house of glory. Now the soul is free from harm. And you'll know it is me and Anna with my rosary on my arm. That's it now, that one. Well done.